Today we're going to be taking a look at solar eclipses and lucky for us Space Engine just recently got an update which added this thing called the Event Finder. And using the Event Finder we can click on an object and find an eclipse that happens with that object. So for example we want the sun to be the light source and then being eclipsed we want the earth and then eclipsing the earth is the moon. Here's the moon, this little dot here. And then we can search and it'll show us all of the times in, I guess, all of history where the earth and the moon had a solar eclipse. So you could see one there and then we speed up time and we can get the full eclipse. I guess that was like a minor eclipse, but all of these are going to be solar eclipses. Like there's another one. So we're going to see what it looks like to have a solar eclipse on every single planet, starting with Mercury and ending with Neptune. We're also going to do Pluto because everyone loves Pluto. All right. So here is Mercury. Mercury is the first planet in the solar system. So there is one problem with Mercury. It doesn't have a moon or any object that's closer to the sun than it. So it is actually impossible to get a solar eclipse because nothing will go between mercury and the sun so just imagine a solar eclipse we'll put a put a put a, a i don't know a black circle there that's what it might look like and we'll also show you a sunset on mercury so you can see what that would look like this is a sunset on mercury because we have no way to eclipse it there it goes down and then as soon as it goes down you can still see some of the rays and stuff the stars will come out and that is Mercury. All right, here is Venus. And Venus actually has a similar problem. Venus has no natural moons. So there's not like a, a moon like our moon to be able to block the sun. And there's not really any objects that are suitable to block the entire sun. But what we can do is use Mercury as a little moon, kind of. So you can see if you set the time to this exact day, August 1st, in the, in the year 16,707, um, this is a point in time, I use the event finder to find this, where the where Mercury, so here's the sun right here and here's Mercury, and there's a tiny ray of light that's being blocked by Mercury going to Venus. So there's like a really tiny eclipse, basically is what's happening. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's the surface of Venus after I turned off clouds and atmosphere because the clouds are so thick on Venus, you wouldn't even see this eclipse in real life, but we're going to see what you might be able to see. So if you zoom in right here, that little dot right here, this is Mercury blocking the sun, I guess, for our eclipse. It looks just like the same size as these sunspots, which is crazy because Mercury is actually closer to us than these sunspots are. So these sunspots are huge. But if you zoom in really far, I guess you could kind of get that eclipseness, but like from here, you're not going to be able to even tell. But that is Mercury blocking it right there. So I guess that is technically a solar eclipse on Venus. All right, we're here at Earth and this are, these are all the eclipses that are showing up. But what's really cool about Space Engine is all of these are accurate. So in October of this year, there will be a solar eclipse in this spot. So let's watch that eclipse. So that was the eclipse right there. We can actually reverse time and it goes across America. And I remember hearing about this. So we're going to see what that would look like. There it is. OK, so it's like full force right here. I don't know if this is a total solar eclipse, but let's look at what an eclipse looks like from Earth on Space Engine. So we can turn off these lines. So here's what the sky might look like. And there's the sun being blocked. OK, it doesn't look like it's a total solar eclipse look you can see it moving in real time so this is real time speed so yeah it does not look like it's a total solar eclipse a partial solar eclipse is still really cool and there it goes you can still see it a little bit but yeah that is a partial solar eclipse on earth all right so here is our good friend mars so let's find an eclipse with its bigger moon so phobos is mars's bigger moon right here this little tiny rock is phobos so we're going to use the event finder and use that to try to get an eclipse Aha! Uh -huh. okay it looks just like a little crater this is the eclipse happening right here let's go under it okay so this is with the atmosphere and clouds turned on. Let's see if it has any real effect. So we're on the surface of Mars and we look up and you can't really see much until you start to zoom in. And then you can see that Phobos is covering a good chunk of the sun. So like if you had those solar eclipse glasses, you would be able to see this. But it might just look like the sun dimmed a little bit because and it goes really fast. Like this is real time. So the eclipses happen super fast. 
but you'd have to be in the perfect spot on Mars to be able to see it. So that is a solar eclipse on Mars. All right, here's Jupiter and Jupiter has a ton of moons. You can already see some eclipses happening. So instead of just getting a solar eclipse, I'm gonna try to get a point where as many of the moons are lined up in the same order as possible because we can do that with the event finder too. It's called alignment. <gasps> I think we got it. Finally, yes, okay, you can see there's now three solar eclipses happening at once. This is the closest I could get. I spent a while looking. So if you were near the surface of Jupiter, uh, we won't go in the eclipse, but near the surface, and okay, we will do realistic lighting. So this is actually realistic lighting wise. And you look up, they're kind of hard to see because of how bright the sun is. So maybe we will go in uh, one of the eclipses, but there's one moon, there's one moon. There should be two more. I'm gonna go inside one of the eclipses because maybe the sun being blocked will help us see the other ones okay oh whoa when the sun's blocked you can see jupiter's rings those are really hard to see they're super dim okay but there's the sun getting blocked and there's three of the moons and then where's the fourth one at is that it right there so i had to make them not as lined up in order to get this to work but there we got technically four solar eclipses happening at one time which is really cool so that is jupiter a solar eclipse on Jupiter with multiple solar eclipses, and this apparently happened in the year 44. Okay, here is Saturn. Uh, let's find, okay, so it kind of has two different solar eclipses uh, because you could say that its rings being blocked by the sun is kind of like an eclipse. So here's what that looks like from the surface of Saturn. We'll go realistic lighting. Um, your sun being blocked by the actual rings, which is kind of cool. And then we also obviously get the regular eclipse from the moons. So let's find Saturn's largest moon. I think it's Titan. So let's find an eclipse where Titan covers the surface oh well, look there's a tiny eclipse right here at the bottom so this is like a weird shaped eclipse because it's right next to the pole but let's take a look at that oh and we almost get, we get uh northern lights on saturn and they're actually like pink so that's really cool so there's our eclipse happening there's titan it perfectly covers the sun that is cool how small is the sun compared to it when it comes out oh you can see the sun starting to peek back out Oh, that eclipse looks awesome. And look at the colors that we get to see. Wow, just the colors all around and some Aurora Borealis there. You could see some of Saturn's moons just chilling. And then there's our eclipse happening as the sun comes out of here. Oh, the sun is so small out here because we're so far away from it now. Look at that. That's the sun compared to Titan from the view of Saturn. Wow. All right, here's Uranus, and we do have the ring system here. It is a little bit hard to see, but you can see very faint ring lines. So let's do a eclipse. So you have to wait. You will only have eclipses during certain times of the year on Uranus. So let's wait and see if we can see one. Um, a bunch of these ones are eclipsing. Like there's a tiny one right there. I don't know if uh, Uranus has any super, super big moons. So here's a tiny solar eclipse. And it looks pretty dark when you're standing here though. Okay, so here we are. You can see the whole Milky Way. But there is the kind of patch in the sky from the eclipse. So there's the rings too. You could see the rings because of the way it has to be to be able to do it. And I think that the sun is behind this little rock here. Yeah, it was. I had this time going fast, but look at that. Look at that view of the rings and then the sun. Really cool. Okay, we're getting so far away that any little dot can cover the sun, which is really crazy. Okay, onto our last planet, which is Neptune. Let's see if we can just spot an eclipse. It's getting harder because the sun is so far away. Uh, I don't see one. Let's do an eclipse with this object, whatever it is right here so this is with tight or this is with oh whoa look at this sunset and then it split because of the eclipse really cool because of the way it's shaped but this is titan's biggest moon triton and this is what an eclipse looks like and let's watch the sun come out oh that's it that's the whole sun it's so small from this far away that's crazy so there is it's just barely Right there, that is an eclipse on Neptune. Okay, we're gonna try to do one on Pluto now. I actually don't think it'll be too bad because we have Sharon here, which is technically binary with Pluto, but it's kind of like Pluto's moon. So let's see, this might be one of the cooler ones because we actually have a big object now compared to its host. Oh yeah, look at this, it's like a literally a perfect eclipse, right in the middle, right big and huge. You would get eclipses all the time on Pluto because Sharon is just so big and so close. 
So realistic lighting. So this is what it might actually look like. It's pretty much like there's night in the middle of the day. And then we will watch the sun come out of the solar eclipse. That's it. Okay, so here, there's the tiny little sun. And then obviously it's going to get covered. And there it's back. It's really easy to get an eclipse out here because of just how far away the sun is. But that is an eclipse on every single planet and Pluto. Leave down in the comments what you guys want me to try in this game next and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.